Well, G-N-U-S. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's one of those chasing type days. <clears throat> well, we're on an important line here. The target is actually at $1.98 or we're at target right now. Um, yeah, we'll have to hopefully get a better signal. Maybe if we can pull, well, I already did do that, so yeah, it's hard. We need a signal here to tell us which way to go. Just trying to find a spot to enter it and watching it, uh, watching it go without you is always a great fun thing to do for watching. Um, fuck, I'm trying to find a spot and it just keeps wanting to climb. Look at 72. I, I was going to say 72, but I mean, it, it really didn't give me a signal. Fuck's sake. The hard part is that you're, you're actually, you know, like you, you could be buying the top here. Like that. That's no problem at all to be buying the top here. We've already missed the entry, really. The entry is somewhere 66, right, where your stop's going to be. So think about that. You've actually missed the entry, and your stop is where your entry should have been, right? Even lower. Actually, I'm, I'm going to suggest here when we broke this, 60. 60 would have been a good price. Then you would be like, oh, you know what I mean? When it came up to this, it would cleared it, made resistance. Now we've kept going. You know, there's another, there's quite a bit of percentage there to get to 198. Um, put a measuring tape on that. Even from here, you know, we had 16% or something, 13%. So I guess maybe that's why we're still interested in it. Fuck, though, this is called chasing. So that was Dr. Funk, man. He is all on it, man. Uh, so there you go. Oh, that was not the right one. Here we go. So there you Yeah, well, that was the order that we were going to try and put on, right? That's how close we were to doing it. So was that the signal? I'm guessing if we can... I'm guessing. I'm guessing if we can get above 72 here, we might, get, might actually have something here. So this is what I was saying about waiting for the signal. There's the order. The stop's a little wide. Yeah, there we, we just modified that stop now to a 167. I don't know. I, I, a lot of the times when you, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. And there's no reason to be wrong all the way to back down to 62. Um, when this thing turns around, like, say, if it goes up and, or, and fills you, and then we come back all the way back down, like, where, why would you hold all the way down to here? Like, obviously, you're wrong, right? So we need to, like, especially if we get up here. And when it goes, yeah, you want to be a little bit wrong, but not, you know, that's how you take big losses, right? By putting too much effort into the stop is too wide, right? You got to be careful. So this is another $145 loss that's coming up here if we, if we, does, if we do get load filled and, and it loses, right? So G-N-U-S. Gonna feel like a fucking GNUS if it <laughs> if it uh, if it fails again. This will be a four. I don't know why we're over trading today. I, I I must have been last week when you felt like everything was. You know what I mean? And you don't want to miss out on any of this because it could run for three hundred more percent. Like fire. Yeah, I don't know. I moved that around so much there that it's like. 
Hey, okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm really wanting to get into this trade so freaking badly. I still believe we have to break this 69, so to even do anything. I don't know why we're trying to take it so early. Right? Just to be in the trade. There you go. Got another idea here coming up on BENE. -E. And typically with our entries and our trades here, you'll see uh, a definite movement after, you know, usually if, we, if it enters correctly, we did it at the right spot because like, it does like this big jump, right? Like, I feel like that's in the right, you know, it has to be in the right area when the stock kind of jumps up right after you um, enter. But that's typically a good sign, right? So far, so good. A little good push there right, out, right after we entered. Well, it's working out. I, I just I really don't like the way the volume's coming in, but it's working out so far. I know I almost always stop myself out of these things, but I mean, I just moved that stop up. But I, <clears throat> that's a pretty, that's a pretty good amount of volume there. That's, uh, that's definitely bringing up the average here. Got uh, a couple seconds here to close that candle. So that's a pretty positive note for this type of volume. I'd like it to kind of go up a little bit more and then come back to this and then go. Uh, that may not have been enough time there. I, uh, I'd like to go up, come back, and then and then go. And then we're going to finish at the 93, right? Is that where? Yeah, or 95. The line's at 98, so we could, you could take it at two dollars you could take it a little before where, wherever um yeah i'd like a little more time up and then back <clears throat> okay so everything's looking good here i'm going to move the stop up uh and this thing uh we're picking up volume so really we, it could pick up some speed here but at the right time of day this could uh be the the play for today you had to wait all the way till three o'clock it's painful man being uh watching these screens it's painful watching them <clears throat> just contemplating moving the stop up again to like a dollar 80 or at least a dollar 79 if we can get out of this little bit of a zone here we're moving it up to 179 there's no sense letting any of that pesky profit go to waste here so I moved it up to the 179. This is a volatile minute right now. We're almost at the end of it. 57, 58, 59. So that's freaking looking doji kind of looking candle there, eh? Hopefully it's... Uh... <clears throat> well, there you have the stop out. And there you go, sometimes, you know, you're wrong when you do some of these things. We've got like another 8% to go to get to the $91.98. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, I, sometimes, right? Like, you take the $348 or whatever, but look at it go, uh, keeps going. Mm, she definitely turned around there at that price. Fuck sakes. There's profit target. Fuck. Eight minutes to go before the close. God damn it. We'll see how this reacts right here. Fuck sakes. Yeah, fuck sakes. It's not like, uh, like leaving 11 and 12% on the table here. Fuck, man. I guess a good question would be to hold it overnight or not. <clears throat> it's closing extremely strong here. Like two minutes to go. I'm not a fan of holding overnight, so we're not going to. This will be a big mistake, though. This is where most. This is where you can make some of the most money is by holding overnight. But in my opinion, it's so risky that it's not worth it. You know, you have no control past five o'clock to like seven a.m. So you have no control. So even if you did want to get out, you know, you're you're screwed. Well, it looks like we made the wrong fucking decision here. That's for sure. Even the hold it overnight kind of thing. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but fuck me. Like, here goes a big pop right now. Fuck. 
Uh, we try and do this. We do this every time in real time. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, uh, leave some comments, and I'm giving out the high fives for free. Oh, fucking look at it. It's popping. It. It's like going again. Like, look at it jumping up now. Fuck's sakes. That's a 5% candle right there. Mother. Yeah, I gotta stop this somewhere.